Hi everyone, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. The Torah portion of this Shabbat called Pinchas contains an interesting story of five sisters, Machla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza, known in the text as Benot Zelofchad, the daughters of Zelofchad. At the time that their father died, he didn't have any sons and none of the five sisters were married. According to the inheritance laws of that time, only male heirs could claim an inheritance. Therefore, they would not be entitled to their share of the land, their inheritance. So they brought their case to Moses. Their advocacy was virtually unprecedented in the Torah. As Sylvinia Shemin describes the situation in the women's commentary, quote, together they go out of their tents without being called by anyone to a place where only the high-ranking men congregate, to a place of holiness and authority, to a place where women did not have authority. Not only did they dare go where few women have gone before, they also spoke with determination. Our father died in the wilderness, they proclaim. Let not our father's name be lost to his clan just because he had no son. Give us a holding among our father's kinsmen. To them and to us, the existing law was unfair and unjust. So these five sisters, the daughters of Zelophehad, advocate for change. They take their case their Moses, who then takes it to God, who then determines that their cause is just. Their advocacy is extraordinary, as together they help initiate a new Torah law, one that comes from the people, not God that provides protection for women in future generations. Lastly, their actions are so extraordinary that the three times that the daughters of Zelophehad are mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, the individual names are shared. Machla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza. They have names and agency and are not simply a reference point to their father. And one additional lesson learned often overlooked is that their unexceptional father gave birth to five exceptional daughters. Machla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza raised their voices for what was right and just. They honored their history and tradition while helping create a new law to ensconce a firmer sense of justice for themselves and for all women. Speaking up for what is right and just is a hallmark of the Jewish people. We've never been reluctant to share what is on our mind, to advocate on behalf of ourselves and causes that are most important to us. We seek to bring about justice when justice is lacking. The daughters of Zelophehad were not prophets, but they spoke with a prophetic voice. They're like advocates today who oftentimes represent disenfranchised and less powerful communities the LGBTQ community, women, immigrants, people of color, and more. They're like those today who advocate and legislate as they demand civil rights for themselves and the communities they serve with and ally with. Today, these voices often emanate from young people who confidently march to the center of power and demand changes to laws in order to bring about justice and righteousness for themselves and for all people. May the advocacy of Machla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza, the daughters of Zelophehad, may their advocacy inspire advocates today to raise their voices, to be present and heard as we continue to let justice well up like water, righteousness flow like an ever-flowing stream. Shabbat Shalom.